Los, are you wearing a Cowboys jersey? What is that? This is Tom Brady, bro. <laughs> Tom Brady. I don't what to say? Truth comes out. Uh, so yeah, I guess we're live. Uh, we've been live for a little bit. Uh, and uh, welcome everybody to the camp show. This is every Sunday night. Uh, it's not specific to football, but this the season right now the football season is going on it's playoffs and the division rounds just happened and again we have the two most quote unquote optimal amazing experts in the nfl today that's jp and los what's the deal welcome to the three-way podcast cam show wow you can't hear jp <laughs> for shit <laughs> it's muted yeah we can't hear you bro <laughs> all right so far so good that's perfect. Uh, so it looks like he doesn't understand how technology works. Let's see. No, um, my headphones. Like, they're, they're <laughs> fucked up. They're fucked up. I'm gonna have to go headphone this. What? My bad. No, it's because I, I have my other headphones, but um, I guess I left them in the car. So at this point in time, wow. I don't have my headphones. So sorry, guys. Very, I have, very like, prepared. Headphones and I got confused. Very, very prepared. Always, all day, every day to whoop your ass. All mm. right. Well, let's start with the divisional rounds that all happened right. on Saturday. And that started off with the Colts <clears throat> versus the Chiefs. The Chiefs being the number one seed in the AFC and the Colts being the six. Uh, Colts come in there six, 10 and six versus the 12 and four Chiefs. Uh, of course, Chiefs are the heavy favorites with Pat Mahomes and that defense, and especially that running back game. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, so uh, what do you guys take on the game? Well, uh, let me go first real quick. Uh, You're going to have to yell, bro, because we can't hear you. I can hear him. <laughs> oh, oh, but no. like when it's recording, like it, it, he sounds low. All right. Oh, no, no, no. I'll, I'll bring, the, I'll bring the, the cell phone up closer. Man, to be honest, the Colts did not come to play at all. At all, at all. They got out coached, out man, out gun. They look like the Texans. Um, it was bad. I, I don't know what their game plan was. To be honest, I don't know if their game plan was to establish the run. I don't know if their game plan was to dink and, 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 and dak all the time, um, <laughs> the whole fucking night. I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand their game plan. Uh, mm -hmm. Defensively, they were getting destroyed. Uh, big plays by uh, Pat Mahomes. He played great, like great. Uh, I have to give it to him. They were at home. Wow. They came out with that yeah. kind of instinct. Um, he played against a defense that didn't want to be on the field. Mm -hmm. uh, offensively, the Colts um, looked like little kids uh, just getting destroyed up front. Uh, their offensive line, the way they handled Houston, you thought they would do the same thing uh, to Kansas City, but they did not. They got whooped. Uh, honestly, this was so lopsided victory. It's not much to say. It's just the Colts didn't even play. Um, I mean, yeah, I agree. Uh, the, the, the Chiefs came to to play and they didn't stop it was non-stop pressure offensively mm -hmm. the coach simply could not keep up um defensively they couldn't stop patrick mahomes uh those uh weapons that mahomes have were making plays all game um andrew luck hey man i i said it last week this is the game where he has to prove that he's up there in the elite and he's and he not just did, and he's not he didn't he's do not. it um he didn't do it um the whole team looked like it was carrying andrew luck before and this game just kind of proved it like he wasn't making the plays uh yeah. patrick mahomes was i mean second year guy right uh was making him look like a chump yeah uh patrick mahomes i mean i can't say enough about this guy this guy is Big time, big play, big game. Um, just like damn. I, I mean, he he was playing lights out. Um, man, did you see that sidearm to? Oh, Kelsey. Kelsey is establishing himself as the best tight end in the league right now. And I hate Kelsey. I hate Kelsey up the ass. I mean, I like the guy. He has fucking swag, and he shows it on the field. Uh, he needs a good pop. He needs one of those pops like Reggie Bush got pop against New Orleans and he calmed the fuck down and he started learning his lesson. He needs one of those, but there's hardly any safeties like that in the NFL nowadays. 
Well, and, uh, yeah, that's kind of true. But man, Travis Kelsey is a beast out there. I mean, he was he was getting them clutch catches, and I mean, Patrick Mahomes is on another level. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't shocked by today. Mm -hmm. Um, I was just kind of disappointed, like a parent in Andrew Luck. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy just couldn't. The guy just couldn't do it, bro. I don't. Man, I don't. I don't know. It's hard to hear that because I feel like. Like Andrew Luck is such a great quarterback, but I don't know. Like it's his team has never been any good. Like, I mean, it, this time it wasn't on his team; it's on him. His defense was on the field half the time because um, he was three and out like four or five straight times. Mm. I mean, it, it just—I mean, to me, Andrew Luck isn't a great quarterback. He's a good quarterback. He's a—he's a quarterback that that sometimes he's great, sometimes he's great, and sometimes he's not. Like. It just, it's it's very annoying the way he, he like, sometimes it'll come out like he's, like, the next coming of Peyton Manning. And then the next thing he's, like, he looks like fucking Ryan Leaf. Mm -hmm. uh, and, it, and it shocks me that they didn't focus more on the run game. Uh, Marlon Mack only had nine carries. Uh, after the monster game he had last week, only nine carries. Well, they fell um, behind quick, most. They fell behind real quick. Nonetheless, like, um... You know, he, he was having a good game. Like, have that offset it. It, it seems like they panicked too quickly and just didn't well, go back to the running Well, they were down 21-0, bro. Yeah, that's not the end of the world, bro. No, it I've is seen, the end of the I've world, I've seen bro. bigger comebacks. I've seen bigger comebacks than that. Yeah, um, and their defense is playing great. Their defense was not playing great. Well, that's true. It was hard to stop Mahomes. But you got to stick to your game plan. 21 down. Don't get me started on the New England game today because that's a whole other level by halftime. Okay, that I understand. But 21 down, come on. You can still stick to the run game and be two-dimensional. I, I have a rant for, for San Diego, man. I mean, yeah. L.A. I have oh, a rant. I can't wait. Because... Because... <laughs> <laughs> matter of fact, we should just get into that game right now. No, we'll no, no, no. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get to it. Yeah, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Uh, <laughs> All right, so uh, is that all you guys wanted to talk about on, on that game? Yeah, there's not much to say. Yeah, there's, yeah, exactly. There's not much to say about Colts. Andrew and Luck is going, to be, is going to be good in the regular season. Mm -hmm. um, he's not going to win the, the, the division. Uh, we're going to win the division once again. Um, well, uh, no, he'll be, he'll be good against in the South. I mean, uh, people are giving him the title King of the South. That's fine. He could be king in the How's he king of South? He can't even win his own division. But he could, it doesn't matter. He goes farther in the playoffs. He beats him in the playoffs. He could be king of the South. He only the wins. Is, he's like the Texans. He only wins the first game and then he loses. Doesn't the matter. Game. No, the, the Texans didn't win even win the first game. We so, have, we've done it before. <laughs> before him. Anyway, so, the thing is, about the Texans. All right. Yeah, they, exactly. They lost so, the last last week. They're garbage. Exactly. So the on. thing is, he no no no, <laughs> real quick. He could be king of the South. What he needs to do is just like Peyton Manning did, is get that monkey off his back and actually go farther into the playoffs mm. and make a run for that Super Bowl. I don't know what you're talking about. Peyton Manning would always make it to the, the, the division title. So I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, but I'm talking about monkey off his back and winning a Super Bowl, which yeah, he only monkey did off his once back he had the with the Colts. Come exactly. On. Exactly. Come on, and, I'm just going against Pat Mahomes. That's not even compared. It's not even comparable. It's not comparable. Yeah, a five... Super Bowl winning team against a non Super Bowl winning team. Yeah, that's hard to compare. Yeah, well, cheating, cheating three Super Bowls. All right. So different. also on wow. Saturday they had we had the Cowboys versus the Rams. The Rams being the second seed in the NFC and Cowboys being the fourth, ten and six going into the Rams, thirteen and three. Uh, what was you guys take on this game? Uh, the. This game, um, it was to me, it was one-sided from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. um, I, you could tell the game plan for the Cowboys was to run the ball with Zeke. They thought that, you know, because every time they they face other teams, at least the Dallas Cowboys, when they face other teams, they don't. The other teams don't have a, a running back in the caliber of of, of uh, Zeke. Well, they ran into a team that had a way better running back than Zeke Elliott. They had Todd Gurley. So this they team ran the ball him. very well. And surprisingly, they did not just have Todd Gurley, who had more than 100 rushing yards. They had uh, um, CJ, it was a CJ Mosley? Uh, CJ Anderson. Anderson, yeah. Mosley, damn, bringing it back to the 2000s. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, they had CJ Anderson, 
who was uh, who is a Super Bowl winner, won the Super Bowl with Denver Bronco, mm -hmm. has playoff experience. He went in there and he just tore an, a, a new asshole into the Dallas Cowboy, and I loved every second of it. It was <laughs> great. Um, it was memorable. Uh, seeing their faces and them being quiet, uh, like they always do every year, was great. Uh, the the one thing that I was very impressed with was Jared Goff. Jared Goff played a very solid game. Uh, he needs to play a little bit better if they're going to beat New Orleans and New Orleans. Mm -hmm. But he has weapons, man. He has Woods. He has Cooks. He mm -hmm. has Anderson. He has Todd Gurley. Uh, I mean, he has C.J. Anderson. His O-line played great. That O-line was like, Dallas, what? Like, they were not even heard of. They just got ran over. Um, defensively, I thought they held up well. They bent it, but did not break. Because mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to say the defense played great. Because it, mm -hmm. it didn't. It played okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, now, keep to leave is still coming back from injury. Uh, you can tell that, uh, what's that, uh, what's that cornerback that came from Kansas City? What's his name? Um, Peters. Uh... Yeah, 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 Peters. Yeah. He's still injured. You can tell. You can tell he's still injured. I don't know why they have him on the field. He's too slow right now. Like, he has a hamstring issue, I think. No, he, he, he made, hurt. he was like 50-50 to me. He made some good plays, but then he got beat another place. I mean... It wasn't, to me, I don't think Peters had a great game. I don't think he had a bad game. I think he had an all right game. Like, he made, he did make some cru crucial, um, uh, you know, stops. Yeah. Um, but then he also gave up some crucial catches. Uh, so, the, the big-time touted Rams corners, which beginning of the season, everybody was like, oh, Tlaib. Marcus Peters, like, oh my God, these guys have one of the top corner, like, top it's not, two tandems, yeah. Yeah, it's not really uh, panning now, but the rest of the defense is kind of, uh, you know, picking up the. the... Well, Akit Talib played a great game. That pass interference call against Cooper, against uh, uh, Cooper, um, wasn't, it was a bullshit call. They shouldn't have called that. They're they're fighting on the end zone. There were there were a lot of calls in this game that both sides. That I was just like, no, okay. I was looking at one side. It was one sided. They were helping out the 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 the, the cowgirls a lot, like a lot. It was like sad. There was one like like Jack Prescott should have got sacked. The offensive lineman is holding him up. All right, the play's not over. He's about to get tore up, and they stopped the play dead. Like it was just to me, it was one sided. Um, but hey, the, the better team won. Uh, offensively, the Cowboys, uh, they, they dinking and dacking, dinking and dacking, uh, like they normally do. Uh, couldn't really throw past 20 yards. He did throw a couple of good balls, but the receivers got, uh, you know, yards after the catch, uh, yak yards, as they call it. So um, he, he didn't really impress me. Uh, the offensive line for the, uh, the, the Cowboys got overwhelmed. Uh, you know, I love Coach Clapp. Coach Clapp's my favorite coach. He came unprepared to the game. Uh, he just cheered on the sidelines. I don't know what Jerry Jones told him to do. Uh, I don't know the game plan that Jerry Jones chose, but it was a weird yeah, game plan. To, to me in this game, it was the fact that um, the Rams running game got going so, so well. Um, like, the Cowboys couldn't stop that run. Uh, if it was, you know, C.J. Anderson had a huge game. Um, Todd Gurley being, in, um, you know, a little banged up. No, on one um, leg, he ran over that team on one leg. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Uh, but, but, uh, Is it your new they, team you're so, going to root for now? That what? This is going to be a new team you're going to root for? I'll root for anybody who goes against the Cowgirls. Until their fans stop being dumb, I'll still go for them. Hey, like, well, what? I'm looking at the Jesus. Cowboys stats right now. And rushing wise, like I'm not seeing a stat for Zeke. It, it what was, am he, I, had, he it? had 49. He had 49 rushing yards and like mm -hmm. I think it was like 20 carries. It wasn't a lot. They were getting. I'm telling you, they were, the penetration by yeah. the by the, that's the, the thing. Rams was that, great. Then that's the thing to me is the fact that the Rams established the run so well, and the the Cowboys simply could not stop that run, uh, and the fact that the Cowboys could get no run going. So to me, that's the that's the winning point yeah. is the yeah, Rams Zeke, Zeke running had and twenty carries and forty seven yards, one yeah. touchdown. Yeah, that's ooh, that's 
That's not the number. That's lovely. Rams rushing was CJ Anderson with 23 carries, 123 yards. Uh. Todd Gurley with 16 carries, 115. Uh. Mm -hmm. And, and both three touchdowns. touchdowns. Three both. touchdowns between yeah, them. Anderson Woo. had two. And okay, fourth and goal. Exactly. So I'm going to hand it to you. Right there, that's the fight in the trenches. Uh, it that, was won by the Rams. Yeah, Shout out exactly. to Sean McVay, man. Shout out to Sean McVay. Sean McVay had a great game plan. Mm -hmm. He was like, they want to act like they're the only ones that can run the ball. They forget that we can do that shit too easily. And they ran Todd Gurley and CJ Anderson. Now, CJ Anderson was a surprise because... I didn't expect a great game from him. He he brought up better than a great game, a terrific game. As for Todd Gurley, he did exactly what Zeke did last week, where he didn't take any negative yards. He took those two or three yards, but he he, he you know it was positive plays. It wasn't negative plays. Um, and uh, the as I said, the the, the old line for the Rams that's the story of the game. Um, and the Cowboys used. don't have a backup running back because the only ones running the ball was Zeke and Dax. Yeah, yeah, no, whoever they have, I, I didn't even No, that's care. what I'm saying. Okay. I'm Fourth and goal. And it shows nobody else was running other than No, the because yeah. because the Cowboys feel like uh, uh, Ezekiel tell Elliott us, is, Tell us what the Cowboys fan. No, they, I mean, they I do, mean they Zeke like is Ezekiel the best Elliott. running back in the NFL, like stat-wise. So why wouldn't you run him? Because they, they feel like Zeke Elliott is like the, the is like Emmitt Smith or like the other uh, other running backs, like that can they can play every down, so that's the reason why they have Ezekiel Elliott there. I mean, I, mean, I don't really. Zeke is just one player. You can't really put it all on him, anyways. Yeah, no, obviously he's... that O line could that not could not, not go. I mean, and granted, the Rams got two of the best inside linemen in the in the league. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and Donica Aaron Asu. Donald was killing. And then him, Aaron bro. Don Aaron Donald was mm -hmm. having a freaking game like. Beating mm -hmm. single teams, double teams, yeah. penetrating, and that's the thing. something to run. A lot Rushing of people didn't see play. that. A lot of people didn't see that because Aaron Donald was pushing that pocket like so easy, dude. It was crazy. Yeah, no, Aaron Donald had a crazy game, and then you got Sue right next to him. So that that demands. I was like, step also. on somebody's throat. Step on somebody's throat. Yeah, no, I mean it. It, you know, it, it's just those linemen. You know, Cowboys got to find a way for those linemen to neutralize the Rams. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you, um, for the next years or however but long, they're going to continue from, to have problems. St 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 statistically, you're going to hear on the NFL Network and ESPN and Fox that the Cowboys have one of the best offensive <laughs> lines and this, this, and that. To me, well, this whole season, they uh, played out. Abel Light, thank you for the follow, bro. Um, Look, for for the season mm -hmm. they've actually demonstrated that online has demonstrated that they're pretty good because ezekiel has had some great games mm -hmm. dak has had time to throw in the pocket mm -hmm. so i thought going into this game hey that was you know this o-line had a chance oh dumbass obviously against the rams it that was not the case the rams were uh, that d-line is on another level mm -hmm. um that I will was... say this though. I will say this. Uh, the cowboy, uh, the cowboy fans were correct. There were a lot more cowboy fans oh in my LA God. than the Rams amount. Fans. The amount of cowboy <laughs> fans in LA was crazy. Well, yeah. it's LA. That... LA is a transplant city. I mean, that's true. You're right. Yeah, because they're not going to have a lot of Rams they, fans. They're like there. they're like little bandwagoners. They're all going to be true. Yeah, that's so true. But man, it was. It, it kind of felt like it was a, a Dallas game. Yeah. I was like, I saw, um, I think the first score by the Cowboys, and I saw the TV. I'm like, hold on, are they in Cowboys Stadium? Or aren't they in the Coliseum? No, dude, like half, and, like the majority yeah. of it was like blue and white, and like it was like you could tell, mm -hmm. like every time the Cowboys did anything, like the roar, the crowd, it was a big difference. Wow. So I mean, you could tell, like that's their home away from home, man. Like Skip Bayless on um on first on uh, not first take um uh, I'm thinking about old school Skip Bayless uh, Skip Bayless on with uh on his show he basically was like yeah because they always practice there in Anaheim California so it's like a home away from home so yeah man and he did but I mean that didn't help him but uh, you know I mean but they you still gotta win the games but uh yeah let's move on to the next one uh so it's this Sunday there was two more games 
Uh, the first one was the Chargers at the Patriots. Fifth seed Chargers against the second seed uh, Patriots. Who are Number one. Five Let's start off with this. Four. Let's start off with this. Let, yeah, let me hear it. Let me hear All it. All right. What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with these pussy ass NFL coaches, dog? What the fuck is up with these pussy ass NFL coaches? Why do you motherfuckers get scared? First off, why the fuck is San Diego playing with seven cornerbacks? What? They were running the ball in your ass the whole fucking game. What the fuck were you doing? What kind of game plan is that? It's a stupid ass game plan. What kind of game <laughs> plan was that, bro? Like, not only that, Philip Rivers, what is wrong with you, dude? Like, you show up one day and we give you all this heat of like praise. I have confidence I, in your I, bitch ass. I knew that Philip Rivers like, was going to show up. I, I knew it. It was just a matter of time. Man, dude, it was it was like the most stupidest game. That's the Melvin Rivers Gordon, idea. bro. Bitch, Melvin Gordon, if he's injured, why are you playing him? He runs like a motherfucker has, is dragging oh a whole fucking elephant right behind him. Fucking running slow as fuck. Tom Brady is throwing like little wobbly ass balls. Mother, oh my God, dude. Don't he did matter. Not, he did not impress me. Don't matter. But hey, shout out. You know what? Shout out to Bill, Bill Belichick. Belichick. Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick. Uh, he, because Tom Brady was not really a factor in this game. The running game was so amazing. The plays he, he would do, like, and that's what I'm saying. Uh, my toe knows more football than Bill O'Brien and some of these head coaches. He would do simple in and outs, left to right, because they had cornerbacks that they thought they were fast, but he would beat them to the edge. And with the offensive line, and they would do like screen plays, dude. They were killing them with them screen plays, bro. Every time they did a screen a screen play, they were getting like 10, 12, 13 yards. Not only that, the way he 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 mixed up the run play, and he would like do like little uh, option passes, like they were wobbly as fuck. But Edelman, shout out to Edelman. Edelman came to play today. Um, he was like teaching like these cornerbacks how to fucking tackle right. Cause like they would tackle him by the leg and he would still get a first down. Like <laughs> these cornerbacks are scared. <laughs> like San Diego deserves to, deserves like not to be ever mentioned as a great team ever again. Like I, I think this is the last year of Phillip Rivers, man. Thank God gosh. Like I, I got tired of Phillip Rivers. I don't know why people were getting jumping on that bandwagon. I'm like, do you I'm not know who Phillip Rivers is? is it, <laughs> This is an outlier. Don't worry. He he's coming no, back, and he showed. I'm back. not. I'm not gonna give the full blame on Philip Rivers. Um, what the fuck? I'm not. It's not <laughs> all Philip Rivers' fault. It's not all Philip Rivers' fault. How can Rivers you score fault. fucking seven points in three quarters? You're a fucking hey, quarterback. How do you score? Uh, how do you let the new uh, Patriots, as a defense, supposedly you're one of the top defenses, you let the Patriots go 14 in the first quarter. 21 points in the second quarter um that basically won them the game yeah they're, they're already playing 30 fucking, they're fucking they're playing already quarterbacks 30. as linebackers get the fuck out of here hey that that's not philip <laughs> rivers fault hey that's the defense fault now i agree with you with that the uh the chargers started putting a shitload of cornerbacks in the game so what so what does what does bill Belichick do what is bill Belichick gonna do I'm gonna give it to sony michelle and Sony Michelle had himself one of one of the greatest. I mean, shit, running game like. Really? Run, You're gonna run. really do that? Don't talk stupid, dog. Twenty-four Marshall carries, one hundred and twenty-nine yards, and three touchdowns. Three yeah. touchdowns in Patriots history. I'm not gonna say all that. Okay, but, good. Say that. Oh shit. my God, this is a great. I haven't seen this in the playoffs from the running game from the Patriots since a lot of time. I think since, since Corey, Corey Dillon. Dillon. Yeah. Since Corey Dillon was the fucking offensive force that he was back then. So no one has handled that running game for the Patriots since fucking Corey Dillon. So to see Sony Michelle do that, to see Bill Belichick fucking see, look into the field and be like, what the fuck? And just tell Tom, just give it to Sony. I mean, <laughs> he literally show his face. And he was like, these motherfuckers still keep bringing cornerbacks? Like, what the? What, what are the these fuck guys are doing? doing? These are like two 190 pound guys. Give it a Sony, Tom. Give it a Sony and just win the game like that. Gronkowski now, was doing nothing but blocking the whole entire hey man, fucking that's game. That's all you needed him to do. 
That's all you need to do. He was pushing these little cornerbacks like nothing. <laughs> Gronk had one no. catch for 25 yards. Yeah, one dude, catch for 25 dude, yards. Dude, he was – man, people, watch the goddamn film. He was bulldozing this little cornerback, all right? Bulldozing him. He would push a cornerback to the ground and get to the other cornerback. Fucking get – dude. Those cornerbacks are usually pretty small, though. God. Yeah, and Compared that's what I'm saying. Ends, yeah. I'm not going to blame Philip Rivers fully on this. It, it's that that coaching staff that decided to play that kind of defense. It's that coaching staff that Philip actually had a, a pretty decent game uh, stat-wise. I mean, uh, th uh, three touchdowns, 331 for yards. Uh, Damn! That, I don't think but so. You're right. That's where no. he fell off. But got, he... He's not the kind of quarterback that's going to carry the whole team for you. No, you got to give him a running game. Then he's not a good quarterback. Then he's not a good quarterback. You got it. No, he's the kind of quarterback that if you give him the chance down six points, seven points in the fourth quarter, the guy will make the throws. But no running game. 15 yards from Melvin Gordon. Um, I mean, no running game. Non -existent. Well, why do you have Granted, Melvin Gordon if, number one, you know Melvin Gordon's injured. Why would you play him? Hey, you man. got a decent backup. That's the Koji set. That's not Philly Rivers. So Philly Rivers, to me, it, it, he's not the one to blame. Mm. And I'm a Philly Rivers hater. The, remember, I started this season. Go check out Three Way Podcast Episode 1. I hate Philly Rivers. <laughs> and even I'm not willing to give this loss to his ass. But, hey, you're right. Credit to Bill Belichick. Came in with a fucking badass game plan mm -hmm. made adjustments um held i mean neutralized that defense that mm -hmm. was so touted by the chargers um mm -hmm. uh, did enough their his defense did enough to hold the chargers to only uh 28 points mm -hmm. i mean no bro lot. the game that's was over lot. the game was over at half time. by by halftime it was yeah, right. it was like 28 right. to right. 7 it was over 21 7 at the half no it was 28 they had scored 28. By the second half, they had 28. No, it, it was uh it was 21. seven. Yeah, 28 total. Uh, Los Angeles only had seven points yeah, in the half. Yeah, 28 to seven. Um, no, uh, England, New England was uh, way uh, past 28. Uh, it, no, they had 35. It was 35 yeah, to seven. 35, mm. yes. So you're right. By halftime, it was pretty much over. It was over. over. It was um, over. And this but I'm just not shows like... The patheticness of like certain coaches, like they get scared. That's why I was so happy when back in the day, when you had coaches who would take chances, like in the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. the Eagles, they came out and they were like, man, fuck you and fuck your coach. And they fucking beat the shit out of them. I and agree with that. I feel do. like the Chargers I mean, the, went the in there. I mean, the would like that too when they had, what's his name as their coach? Uh, yeah, hey, uh, Scotty Schoenheimer wouldn't wouldn't have done this. Um, I I think you're right. I think this team went in there on eggshells. Like, basically, don't I'm make scared. a mistake. Yeah, don't make a mistake. Don't fuck up. No, you gotta. If you're gonna play New England in New England, you gotta go in there, shots firing. Like, you yeah, gotta go in Baltimore, there aggressive. When Baltimore went there 2012, and they had a better team than they have now. When Baltimore went in there, they came and hit him in the fucking mouth. They were even like, you know what? We don't even need the ball. Get the ball first. And and fucking Ray Lewis did his thing, and so did uh, uh, Ed Reed. And they they stopped him. And then Joe Joe playoff Joe Flacco came to play, and he threw a touchdown. And then all of a sudden, you can see and like in that first possession, if you go all the way back, mm -hmm. Baltimore went went on it on fourth down like twice, because that's what you got to do. You got to let them know, bitch, we're not yeah. scared of y'all. Fuck y'all. Yeah, and that. That's the kind of mentality that throws the the Patriots off. That confidence mentality. Um, you can't go up against the Patriots and be scared. You're you're gonna get your ass whipped, as as evidenced by this game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, I mean, but yet again, consistent. Uh, only out of the hold on, 40 completions. He only had 10 incompletions. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, 34 completions, 10 incompletions, a touchdown, 343 yards. Granted, he had the running game there. The play, the, the play action worked perfectly for the Patriots. Uh, Edelman stepped up big time, making some big first downs. Um, yeah, just like I said last week, Patriots <laughs> doing what they do in the playoffs. 
and uh, Belichick doing what he do in the playoffs. Tom Brady doing what he do in the playoffs, making big plays. Uh, not surprised. <laughs> Uh, all right. With that, we can close that one out. Uh, actually, you know what I forgot to mention is that I saw a T.O. tweet to the Cowboys saying, "Oh yeah, say we need to get rid of this guy, man." Like, hell nah, keep Coach Clap. I love Coach Clap. <laughs> oh, that's what. That's what. Uh, hold on. Uh, T. O. Oh, hold on. What happened? T.O. was tweeting to the Cowboys to uh, to get rid of uh, the coach. Hell yeah! I'm surprised hell it's nah, only. Nah, I love Coach Clap. I love long live Jerry Jones and long live Coach Clap. I love him. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Got that ass. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Oh my God. Let me see if I can find this. is so funny. Okay, he says, hey, at real Jerry Jones. About time for a coaching change, don't you think? Two playoff wins in 10 years? Gary isn't the answer and never will be. Way to compete, guys. Real talk. Hashtag real talk. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Throwing that shade. That's my quarterback. We ready. All right, let's get into the last game of the night on Sunday, which is today. Uh, New Hecka, who did? Eagles go into New Hecka, who did? And play the number one seed Saints, who are 13 and 3 against the Eagles and 9 and 7. Uh, what would you guys take on this one? Man, I, I feel bad for the Eagles. They had this for one. The Eagles. Yeah, I saw Jeffries. He should feel about it. That ball hit his hands, <laughs> and he t- and it hit him in a perfect spot. Like he was supposed to grab it. No, Nick Foles. I gotta give. I feel bad for Nick Foles. Hey, Alshon was focused. His mind was. I don't know where it was on the on this uh, fucking girl in Miami or wh- wherever the fuck it was on the food after the game. That motherfucker was not focused. Like the game. you gotta <laughs> secure the ball, and run. That's that's fucking basics. That's fundamentals. Catch the ball, and then make your play. And the guy had the chance. Uh, and we're we're you know talking about fourth quarter fucking last plays right here. Mm-hmm. Had a, Nick Foles. It, to me, it looked like they were down six points. Mm-hmm. All they got to do is the touchdown. They had enough time. They had a timeout. Mm-hmm. It, it kind of looked to me like, man, Nick Foles going to do it. Like, I, I, now I'm going for the Saints over here. I'm going for my man, Drew Brees. You were scared it, like a little bitch. Brees. I wasn't scared because the Saints defense, as proven, comes up Hell with the plays. No. Nick comes Foles. up with the plays. Nah. Holding but- Nick Foles. To 14 points? Come on, man! Don't tell me that Saints defense wasn't make wasn't doing nothing. Cause there were a lot of points, drops, bro. There were a lot of drops. 14 by the points, yeah, two interceptions. Yeah, two hey, they, they, wow. yeah. They, hey, don't, don't, hey. You can make all the excuses you want, but the when the Saints had to make plays, yeah, you know, they well, made it. I, I thought the game was a very good game, mm-hmm. I, and as I said, this was a toss up. Uh, I picked the yeah, Eagles. It was a good game. And good game. I, it was a good choice because the Eagles should have uh, this game. Hey, and and uh, again, let me. Uh, the Eagles came out with the 14-0 lead in the first quarter. Yeah. No points after that. I thought, oh shit! I see those two touchdowns scored. I see the momentum. I'm thinking, oh shit, man! Like the Eagles could run away with this one, mm-hmm. and they and they should have. You're up 14-0 on the home team. In their place, and you you can't do anything after that. Like the Saints defense locked it down, and and Breeze managed to scratch away enough <laughs> enough to to get the win. Uh, and granted, there was a lot of field goals in that in those twenty points, um, two field goals in 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 situations where they needed those touchdowns. But nonetheless, they managed to to claw away the win. Um, not yeah. very, not very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like positive pretty. for the Saints. Uh, y- yeah, not, not very pretty going into this next game against the Rams who, who are coming off a high scoring game. Yeah. So not very pretty, not very confident as a fan, uh, seeing the Saints kind of, you know, kind of basically squeak their way into the, uh, and, and this yeah, game, yeah. it mm-hmm. had so many fucking injuries. Like so many fucking injuries, it was crazy. Like the moment they stepped on the field, someone got injured. Like everyone was injured, everybody got nicked. Uh, it was a game where 
you it was it was defensive in a lot of ways, but like I said, this game should have been won by the Eagles. Uh Ashawn Jeffries didn't concentrate hard enough and, and he fell and he at the end of the game you could tell man he was he was upset. Man. He was upset. Well, and, why is JP's face like, <laughs> I look on that sh- Bro, B, do something about that, Dirks. <laughs> that what? You're all up in that camera, man. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm trying to make y'all hear, dog. We hear you, bitch. <laughs> no, but for God. the video, ho. Fuck you. We hear you. We, we hear, hear you, son. You don't have to yeah. do all that. All right, well, either oh way, God. regardless, uh, they, they, the Eagles should have won this game. I mean, they've had a great season. They weren't even supposed to be in the playoffs. Uh, Minnesota helped them out. At the yeah, end. no, uh, I, you know, hey, Eagles, great run. I mean, your quarterback I controversy still, next year. I still think Nick Foles <laughs> should be Decided. in that helm. But Bye, Nick Foles. Bye. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, after this game, I mean, they should have won this game. They should have. Yeah, they should have won. Could Wentz? Could Wentz have done it? Who knows? Because he's never on the fucking field. We but, read it. <laughs> All hey, right. but All great right. season by the, by the Eagles, uh, Saints, Drew Brees. Man, that stadium, let me just say, that stadium was rocking, loud. They were on top of the Eagles. The Eagles, yeah. I mean, after that first quarter rush, they were pressure, 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 pressured. They just couldn't deal with it. The folks couldn't deal with it. The Alshon Jeffrey couldn't deal with it. Uh, and the Saints stepped up and managed to clutch out that win. All right. So let's, goodbye, uh, goodbye, then. Let's go ahead and take a quick preview of next week's games. Woo! Is it next Ooh. week? No, is it next yeah. week? Yeah. No, no, next no. Week. Next week. Next week. Is oh. it, are the both games on Sunday or are they on Saturday? No, uh, they're Sunday. 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 We ready. All right. So, uh, we ready. I mean, the first game is the Patriots at the Chiefs. I, uh, not... Well, no. First game is Rams and Saints. Saints. Okay. Let's, let's go over that one then. Um. I mean, Saints are at home. They're at home. Mm-hmm. And you know how they play at home. But Oof. I kind of like the Rams. The Rams is a team that they really don't talk shit. They really don't really say anything. They just go about their business. Mm-hmm. And I like that. So I'm, I'm going for the Rams. But New York, realistically, New Orleans should win this game. It should be a high-scoring affair. I say 35 to 31 New Orleans. It's the two players. the two best offenses in the NFC. Yeah, are facing each other. I mean, uh, they, that, that, the Rams did lose against the Saints in the regular season too. Um, exactly. Um, but, so, but playoffs is a regular playoffs. Is yeah, no, I understand. That, and that. I mm-hmm. I agree with that. Um, I mean, and I mean, it's the two best offenses in the NFC. To me, it's a toss. It, it, it could be they could play a hundred times, and I feel like one team will win fifty, the other team will win fifty. Um, I, I, I you know, if I had a calling, the Rams, I feel, have a better defense by by that much than mm-hmm. the Saints. I feel like offensively, they're kind of they're kind of the same. Mm-hmm. Michael Thomas had a game today. Um, no. He's the best receiver that Sunday for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he had like 11 receptions, 170 yards, a touchdown. Like the guy had a fucking monster game. I think he's the best receiver. But you know, Rams have quantity. They have. Um, well, wait, wait, wait. did you just they say have, Michael Thomas is the best receiver in the NFL? I said in that game. In, oh, that, in that game. Okay. In that in that game right there. Yeah, the uh, the Rams have Robert Woods. They have uh, what's the. Uh, the smaller Brandon guy, Cooks. Brandon yeah, Cooks. Brandon Cooks. Uh, Cooper Cup is injured, but those the Rams have quantity, but the Saints have better players. Um, so, yeah, exactly quality. So, man, it's a toss up for me. I I want the Saints to win. I'm rooting for Drew, but I feel like the Rams, that momentum. Being out of fucking LA, because I'm pretty sure if they went to LA, it would all it would still be a fucking Saints game, man. Either way, a, Saint, a Saints home game. So it's kind of I'm kind of glad they're getting out of LA. Yeah. Um, but in the 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 Saints show today that they have weaknesses in the Superdome, mm. um, which they should be in, invincible in the Superdome. But today they show they have weaknesses. <laughs> I feel that McVeigh. And the Rams will expose that. 
uh, and will, in the end, I'm sorry, we Drew Brees, they're going to beat the Saints. We ready. All right. Uh, so you have the Rams and JP has the Saints. Uh, let's go into. No, no, hey, hey. I said I'm going for the Rams, though. But you, you pick Saints to win. Though. Yeah, but I'm still going for the Rams. <laughs> that that doesn't make sense. Yeah, <laughs> they, they pick the Rams. Realist then. Realistically, you want to shoot oh there. Oh God! Well, anyways, the Patriots are at Chiefs AFC Conference Championship. Who's winning? Uh, I think the 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 Patriots are gonna win this game. <laughs> uh, Andy Reid Andy Reid is a choker. I wonder who else is gonna pick. That's been proven. Uh, but I'm still going to go. I'm going to root for Kansas City. I'm going to root hardcore for Kansas City. Uh, but realistically, Andy Reid is a choker. Uh, once again, against Bill Belichick. So I think the I think the Patriots should win this oh. game. But I'm uh -huh. going for Kansas City. Oh, I'm going for Who do you pick to win? I told you already. I'm I'm I'm, I'm rooting for Kansas City. Realistically, no, no, no. No, realistically no, no. the Patriots Who do you win pick to win? I told you. Realistically, the Patriots should win this game. All right, thank you. But I'm still gonna root for Kansas City. No, 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 no. Stop, Who are you that. picking to win the game? I am rooting thing. for Kansas City and LA. All Woo! right, so you're going for Kansas City. Then. No, no, no. Yeah, he's no, a no, Chiefs no. fan. He's, I forgot about that. He, I forget about that sometimes. <laughs> he's picking. He picks the Patriots because he knows them. All right. Um, uh huh. Loves. Do man, you have a favorite in this game? This. <laughs> <laughs> this is the toughest test the Patriots will ever face, have ever faced in, what the, the, in the history. Fuck? In the past decade, this is the toughest team the the Patriots no. have ever faced. Yeah. The yes. toughest team the Patriots have ever faced was the Giants, and they got nope. stomped three nope. times. Giants got lucky because of a ball that was caught. They faced them the twice. Head, <laughs> against twice. the head. No. Nope. <laughs> What the no, fuck are you the, talking about? This this is Look, the toughest this is team how the Colt Patriots were ever Eli Manning is. Colt, Eli Manning faced him the first time, beat his ass. A whole bunch of players retired, a whole bunch of players left. The second time, it was a brand new team, and he still whooped his ass. With hey, different wide receivers. This is the toughest team that the yeah, okay, Patriots stupid. will ever face. They have never stupid. faced a, a quarterback as talented as Patrick Mahomes. This guy, I, I, I mean... I'm not a KC fan, but man, Patrick Mahomes is a is a once in a generation kind of quarterback. So it looks um, like so this building. The guy too. is athletic. The guy can see the whole field. The guy makes all the reads. Has the arm to to make it downfield to make it short. Has the IQ to change up the play at the line. The guy has it all. Mm -hmm. Um. So this is where I think the greatest coach of all time will come in and find a way to neutralize the biggest weapon uh, that the Chiefs have, which is Travis Kelsey. Mm. Every time that Patrick, Patrick Mahomes is in trouble, he looks to his, his one safety valve, his one, his one thing, his one, his one homie that's always going to get him out of the situation, pa uh, Travis Kelsey. I think if Belichick can neutralize Kelsey, Mahomes is not going to have his backup, his little homie to throw the ball whenever he's fucked up in the, uh, in the pocket. Uh, I think Belichick is going to neutralize what makes the Chiefs good. Their defense, we already know, ain't that great. Um, gave up uh, fucking, well, only 13. It's only Andrew Luck. But we know throughout the season that they gave up a, sh a shitload of points. I think that uh, Patriots are going to take advantage of that. Tom Brady. Uh, I think Gronk is going to show up. Edelman always shows up. Uh, it'll be it'll be done just like I said last week. All right. So who are you and picking? Just like JP did. Man, hurry the fuck like up. Did. <laughs> who are you picking? What's the score? Just like I did last week. It'll be dumb. To hurry the fuck the up. Who it'll be picking? dumb to bet against the what Patriots. What is the score? To bet against Tom Brady oh. and Bill Belichick. Patriots win 31-14. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. We have our recap for the divisional finals. Conference finals are next week. Uh, and, yeah, we'll be back next. No. This is we'll a shitty season, dog. Yeah, like, all the teams that I don't give two shits about are, like, are winning. 
I, I could care less about Kansas City. And I, <sighs> Let's see. Uh, first game is at 1 p.m., I think. And then the second at 4.40, so three three hours, 3.7.30. So what, 8 o'clock, 9, 9 p.m. tomorrow, next Sunday? Same time, same place? What are we talking about? Uh, here? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sounds thank- good. All right. Well, thank you to everyone who watched. Thank you for the new uh, new follower that we got today. And Woo! of course, you can always f- catch us on Monday mornings. That's the Three Way Podcast. It's our main podcast. It comes out six a.m. Uh, what the hell is that? What <laughs> are you comes- doing? Uh, that's not me. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, uh, our main podcast comes out six, uh, Monday mornings at 6 a.m. You can listen to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, uh, Anchor, of course, which is the platform that we use to divide it to every other platform. Uh, you can also watch the, the video version on YouTube where we do watch, uh, I mean, do uh, look for comments, uh, of course, and we always respond. Please also, if you are on there. Hit the like, share, and uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, Tuesdays, you will see this VOD. All our cam shows will be coming out on Tuesdays. Wednesdays is, of course, our Hump Day show. Our PO. And this Wednesday's Hump Day show is uh, there. These two guys. What the? Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) These two guys. (laughs) Favorite NFL playoff moments since we're in the playoffs right now. Uh, and of course, we want to start streaming more. So Thursdays and Fridays, you can catch us here on the Twitch.tv or Twitch oh, oh, podcast for live streams. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And uh, yeah, again, thank you so much to everyone, and we'll continue to uh, bring you quality, top-notch product. And actually, this Saturday on the nineteenth, we're, we're going to be live streaming our passion party group stream. Uh, I'm not sure what at the time of that it probably won't be like super late But it'll probably be around eight or nine probably even earlier, but we'll see we'll we haven't even figured out the details yet I'm alive now. I'm <laughs> Here we are now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks guys <laughs> <See ya. laughs>